Who has two thumbs in his rockin' 5-4 club clothing? This guy. To save 15 bucks, enter T-O-T at the checkout. I'm here, and you're here. So that makes this our time here on Tech of Tomorrow. Why are we all here today? We'll check this out. Lately, we've been doing a bunch, a bunch of system mods. You guys remember I brought you guys a video a few weeks back with my green system. I talked about changing the parts out and doing all the cables. Well, I thought that maybe Anthony could just come to my house on the weekend and knock that out. But unfortunately, since we have the Metro build going on, we got the blue build going on, we've actually got some killer AMD freaking builds coming on going on for you guys. I was stuck actually without a system at all. No system at all means I'm stranded. So I was like, let's just build me a system. So we looked around the house and I had a lot of cool parts lying around from all my cool sponsors which hey thank you guys I love all of you I don't want to miss anybody out so let's talk about all the parts that I use in the system now first off Silverstone makes some awesome cases if I'm not gonna paint the case a lot of times I head over to Silverstone because their cases just look really good they're basic black they don't really you know they're not to me the kind of case you want to go out and really paint too much but leaving them the way they are is really awesome now the Raven 3 is really an excellent case it looks nice has USB 3.0 accessibility all around it. I like the way the motherboard mounts upwards so that you can access everything by the top panel. Totally different than most cases that you see out there. So that's the case, but what's actually inside the case? All right, so let's first of all, let's talk about the CPU, which is obviously the brain and the power. Now, this is a Socket 2011 CPU from Intel. It's the 3960X Extreme. That's right. Now, this bad boy can actually overclock extremely well, and I'll be bringing you guys some videos later on and show you some specs and stuff, but right now, let's just keep going with the system. For the motherboard, I had a really killer ASUS one lying around that I wanted to use. This is the Rampage 4. Now, this thing's an awesome Socket 2000 with a motherboard. It's ROG series, which means you know it's got all the killer shit all on the motherboard, all based on overclocking, ease of access, programming, setting things up. You guys all know ROG makes awesome, awesome stuff. Now, the video card is awesome as well. Now, this is a platinum style bad boy from the people over at ASUS. This thing is their 780 Ti Matrix Platinum. Now, this thing's completely geared for overclocking. And the reason I didn't actually take this card and tear it apart and pour a water cooler on it is because I want to see how it actually do just the way it was. And I didn't really want to clog my system up and spend, you know, just a shit ton of time trying to build it. I actually wanted to get the system built in a day. So I left the card the way it is and I like it. It actually looks really good and it matches the system. As far as cooling the CPU though, I used a really good one from the people over at Cooler Master. This is the Nepton 280L. This thing's an awesome, has two fans, a radiator, it's all in one. Fits really nicely inside the case you guys see. We have the radiator mounted there on the bottom. And also while we're down there, let's just talk about it. There's two fans that came with this unit. We left those the same. The rest of the system fans though, I changed out to Cooler Master ones. These are the JetFlow 120s. They light up, they're silent, and they move a lot of air through the system, making sure the airflow throughout the entire system is going really good. For memory, I wanted something that was really fast, right out of the box, I could just slap a quick XMP profile on and then move ahead. Kinks that had just the stuff I was looking for. HyperX quad channel, 16 gigabyte, 2400 megahertz kit. Now this thing's totally geared for being fast, and you just hit that XMP profile and you're in like Flynn. Now, I also use for my fan controller, I use this killer Lamptron controller. This thing lights up and told like bulb-like stuff and it's just really neat. It looks kind of steampunk even. Lit up, you guys will check that out. It actually looks very steampunkish. I actually had to throw a CD player in there as well because for some reason I couldn't find my windows on a damn USB stick. So once again, I stuck an ASUS CD player in there and away the day went. Now, this system is pretty much fleshed out. For the boot drive, I got an A-Data SP600, there's a 256 gigabyte drive, SSD, I use that for the boot drive. As far as the media storage goes, I use two of the same drives. These are the Kingston HyperX 3K ones. These are the 480 gigabyte bad boys. I used one for Origin and one for Steam. It seems to work out very well for me. These are mounted directly onto the back of the case and it was actually pretty cool the way that he did this. Only one of the drives are actually in a bay that was designed to hold the SSD. Both these others were custom done by Anthony and it looks pretty cool. And all these cables back here, they might look a little bit cluttered to you, but as soon as you put on the back of the case, you can't see them. And one thing to really take note of with the Silverstone cases, look at how much room there is 
for cable management. There's clearly almost two inches here in the back for you to put your cables in. This is just something amazing about the Raven 3. Now, obviously, all of these components are going to have to be powered, right? I mean, I don't have like, you know, just a couple little hamsters on a thing running around in there to create power, so I had to get a power supply. Now, recently, the people over at Corsair have released a brand new series of power supplies, and actually, the day the power supply came in from Rick, I was able to get Anthony to throw it in. Now, this is a brand new 750 watt power supply from these guys. You guys will see all of these parts in addition, down below that like button. So everything that I've talked about will be down there. Also, for you folks out there who want to see the performance and those things, please hit that like button and leave a comment saying, hey, I want to see the scores and we'll make sure we take care of that for you folks. So that about wraps up today's video, folks. I want to thank you guys for watching and everything else. And I got to say, if you guys happen to catch the previous video that we did on the iPhone 6 clone, I was actually rocking 5-4 Club clothing in that video. Now, you guys all know that I've been going to the gym, working out, maintaining a diet, trying to lose the weight so I'm not so heavy set and actually helps my diabetes a lot too because I'm not as unhealthy. Now, with that said, we were able to actually get a nice clothing sponsor. Now this is 5-4 Club. These guys are awesome. The shirt I'm wearing, the pants I'm wearing are all provided by these people. Now this thing's really cool. You can actually start your membership in less than 60 seconds. It's that actually easy. And I know that most men don't really like to shop. For men going out and shopping, it's kind of like uh, pulling a leg. But with these guys, you can do everything online. From t-shirts and jeans, to dress to impress, to business casual, 5-4 Club has you covered, literally. And what's even cooler is 5-4 Club sends you $120 worth of clothing for only $60. That's pretty amazing. So you're getting 50% off of your entire order automatically just by joining 5-4 Club. Like I said before, you guys can save $15 just by entering TOT at checkout. And always, like usual, down below the like button, which I hope you guys will hit and like and appreciate this type of video, will be all the information on this, all the links to all this stuff, to every part that we used in the system, to 5-4 Club, all that stuff. If you like the video and you want to be subscribed, back here behind me a sub tab where you guys can hit that. Like I said, right now we're kind of like a pimple. We're like squishing right now because we have so many systems that we're working on, but it's going to go and we're going to have all these systems. You guys who are sticking around are going to be awesome. AMD is actually going to be sponsoring a bunch of system giveaways with us, guys. So you guys are going to get free systems built by Anthony and me and going to be in your pocket soon. So thanks for watching Tech of Tomorrow. We love you. And we'll see you guys back here on the channel for more good looks with my 5-4 Club clothing. What am I saying?